Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Jalissa. Today, I'm going to be trying this Hair Flare Soft Hood. This is a hair dryer attachment that I've seen all over Amazon. I decided to purchase it and try it out to see if it's worth it. Um, it was actually very affordable. I think it was like 20 bucks, but this is supposed to act like a secadora. <laughs> Um, if you do rolos and if you use a secadora, you know what I'm talking about. If not, I'm going to insert some videos in here. I always used to use secadoras at home with my mom. She used to do rolos for me. And that was before we discovered the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. But that used to just really make my hair super nice and sleek. And still at a lot of beauty salons, they do this technique. You basically just roll your hair on rollers and then you let it dry with a dryer it's gonna act like kind of like a balloon like a hood to dry your hair anyways i'm gonna try it you guys will see what i'm talking about so let me put my hair down and get right into the video because i know that this video is gonna be pretty long this process is gonna be a little bit long i'm gonna detangle my hair with my julie brush i'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out i'm gonna add a little bit of this dry bar prep rally spray i always add this to my hair before my blowout it preps my hair so well before my blowout it leaves my hair so healthy and shiny and smooth and soft it's been a while since i've done rolos on myself I will say it's a little bit hard so if you have someone to help you even better i wish my mom was here to help me do the rollos because they can be a little bit hard um so i just wet my hair and i'm also gonna do just one like this in the front and then i'm gonna part my hair and do the rest side by side because if not it's just gonna be a little bit too unorganized and hard for me to do so yeah your hair has to be probably completely wet so now I just divided my hair into two sections and I'm gonna work my way up. So I'm gonna start doing the rollos in the bottom. You roll it up like this, you see? And then you take the clip and secure it. Try to use two clips so that it doesn't move and it's nice and sturdy. There you go. So there's one. <laughs> Let's do the rest. Okay, I am finally done doing my rolos. They're not perfect. I've seen better rolos. <laughs> but I'm not mad about it. I mean, I'm proud of myself. I don't usually do rolos, so that is why it's so hard for me to do this. Now I'm going to put this on my hair. Let's open this up. I don't even know if this is going to fit on all my rolos because I have a lot on my hair right now. But let's try this. It says to use this in the lowest heat setting only. I am sorry, but I'm not going to do that. Because if not, I'm going to be here sitting for at least three hours. And my hair is not going to turn out smooth. So I'm just going to do the highest heat setting. And let's hope that this doesn't melt on my head. Okay. So you put your head in here. And then you put the blow dryer in here. I'm going to use my GHD Helios because this is kind of like the blow dryer that i have that looks the most like a regular blow dryer like the shape of it and that's what they advertise this with so like with the blow dryer with this shape i really wish i had a big net I'm gonna try to not mess up the rollos i will say this is pretty big so i like that I'm gonna slowly try to put everything in here yeah be very careful because this can mess up all your hard work that you did with the rollos now that everything is in, I guess I'm gonna make this tight. Ooh, that looks so funny. I'm gonna make it tighter. That is tight. No air is coming out of there. Now I'm gonna secure this so it doesn't like blow away. You know what I mean? Like a balloon. So there you go. Where's my tail? Here it is. <laughs> so now I'm gonna put the blow dryer in here. I'm gonna leave this on my hair for about an hour. So I'm gonna have to sit here just like I do when I'm in a secadora for about an hour. So wish me luck. So there you have it. I hope it doesn't fly away. I hope this is pretty secure. But let's turn it on. I'm scared, but let's see what happens. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. 
Wait, hold up. So I'm gonna try to make it even tighter. Hope I don't get a headache after this. Okay. I'm gonna put in the highest heat setting and the highest speed because I want my hair to dry. And I'm gonna put a timer for an hour. It's 104. I'll be back at like 204. I'll be back in an hour. Wish me luck. I hope I don't melt this with the high heat setting. I'm gonna switch it, put it high, low, you know. But yeah, it's getting hot. Woo! Bring me bad memories of being in a secadora for two hours to get straight hair. This is why I've been curling my hair lately. Okay guys, I'll be back in an hour. Finally, it's been an hour and I'm ready to take this thing off. I hope that an hour is enough. If not, I mean, I can always do a little bit more, but I don't know. It's not that easy to be in there. It's kind of like torture, honestly. Okay, it's actually, I think, worse than a secadora. Let's see if this dried my hair. You guys ready? It still feels a little bit damp, but actually I'm kind of impressed. Look, it's not even that wet. I mean, it's pretty good. Like it's ready for a blowout in my opinion. So I'm gonna take all of these off. So I'm gonna take these off. Not bad. I honestly thought it was gonna be worse. This does cover a lot more than a secadora, than a dryer. It does feel a little bit wet and it's not super sleek, but with the straightener, it's gonna look nice. So let's see. Not bad. <laughs> I was honestly expecting worse because I'm not the best at doing rollos. And I'm sure that if you have experience doing rollos and if you know how to roll your hair like this, then it's gonna look really nice. I'm gonna take all of these off. Honestly, with the straightener, my hair will look just fine. Is it worth going through all that and doing this long process? I do feel like I put less heat on my hair because I didn't use a blow dryer and it was just air, pretty much. So it probably does help to keep your hair a lot healthier this way as compared to a blow dryer and then a straightener. I mean, it looks kind of poofy. doesn't look perfect. Last one yeah it definitely looks a little bit worse than when you do rollos at the salon or when somebody else does them to you like when my mom does rollos on me it doesn't look this bad but this is kind of like the first step to straightening my hair because after this i would just usually go in with a straightener and get everything sleek but that would take me another hour so i don't know if it's worth it i don't know if it's worth all that work doing the rollos then putting your hair in the secadora and then straightening it you know okay guys so i'm gonna straighten my hair now i'm gonna use my l'oreal steam pod this has been my go-to straightener i love it so much it leaves my hair so shiny and super soft um it also strains my hair very quickly so i think it's gonna be perfect for my hair situation right now i'm gonna put this all the way up to 410 degrees fahrenheit and let's do this at least i'm excited that my hair is like mostly dry i do feel the roots a bit damp still but hopefully they're dry by the time I straighten it. It's warming up. Wow, my hair looks crazy. Definitely not the final look. Anyways, I'm gonna straighten my hair very quickly. I'm gonna add a little bit of this Kerastase oil just cause I love how that works on my hair. I love that it also leaves it very shiny and it smells amazing. So I'm just adding a little bit of that on my hair. So I'm gonna divide my hair into two sections what i always do when i'm straightening my hair what i did like about the hair flare is that it does kind of cover your hair a little bit better than a regular dryer you can kind of feel the air coming to your eyes and that can be a little bit uncomfortable so that's one thing that i didn't love about this hood but other than that it's not bad like if you do rollos on a regular and if you are good at it um or if you have someone that does it for you and you don't have the actual dryer the secadora i'm gonna insert a picture in here so you guys know what i'm talking about if you don't have that which can also be kind of pricey sometimes you can always just get this and just use your blow dryer and yeah it actually works so i'm gonna use my steam pod just to quickly straighten my hair actually i don't think it's gonna be a quick process because my hair is still a little bit curly like it's not super straight but it is gonna be a lot faster than straightening it straight from pretty curly hair i do about two passes you can also flip the ends a little bit and there you go 
and I have a feeling that my hair is gonna look even smoother and more sleek and straight but I think it's gonna look better than with a blow dryer and a straightener but I could be wrong let's see how my hair turns out but for some reason I don't know I just feel like it's gonna look more smooth because this is reminding me of my rollos days when my mom used to do the rollos for me at home or even at a beauty salon it would do rollos and then use a straightener and straighten my hair and it would turn out very sleek. The whole drying process in the hood is just as bad as being in a secadora. And if you have done your hair before with rollos, you know that that is torture. It's so uncomfortable to be in a dryer for at least an hour at a very high heat setting because at the beauty salons they put it all the way up they put it super hot and your ears start to like burn which is why i just do my hair at home i'm sure you guys already want to see how my hair turns out so i'll be back in a little bit all right guys so here's the final look i actually really like how my hair turned out my hair looks very sleek it looks super shiny i got a very nice sleek look it does take me maybe like an hour and a half to do that with a blow dryer brush and a straightener so with this it did take me at least two hours because i had to prep my hair first do the rollers that took me about 20 minutes then use this for an hour and then straighten my hair for at least another 30 minutes so it's not terrible i don't know if i would use it again i would only use it again if my mom does the rollers for me or if somebody else does them for me because i need to just keep practicing and doing the rollers it's a little bit hard to do on your own especially like the back hair um and if you have curly hair it's a little bit harder <laughs> because you have to make sure that the roots are a little bit like pulled back and like stretched out when you're doing the rollers you can't just leave them a little bit loose because then the roots won't get sleek but even when a professional does rollers on me the roots are always a little bit curly so it's like something that you kind of can't avoid if you have very curly hair like me if you have wavy hair or even like straighter hair i feel like you would love this because you just have to put your hair up in rollers and maybe even just let it dry for about 30 minutes and you're probably good to go but for me it was a little bit more of a process i do feel like this covers and dries your hair quicker than a secadora than a dryer and it is cheaper so if you're already doing rollers at home you might as well get one of these they're only like 20 bucks this is actually pretty cool because it's inexpensive it covers most of your hair it covers more actually than a dryer and it's actually pretty big i was surprised that all my hair fit in here it's actually very easy to take with you when you're traveling as well you can make it as small as this little bag you can make all this fit in here and travel with this you would kind of need your rollers too if you're going to travel but you can take it anywhere you want and a dryer you can't do that so i'm just saying i feel like this would be great for a deep treatment like if i want to do a deep treatment like a heated treatment like how they do at the beauty salons that they put you under like a dryer with a nice mask for about five ten minutes like before you blow out your hair i can definitely see myself using this for that you can also use a heated cap which would work but this will give you more heat and will allow you to do a deeper treatment. So overall, I'm not mad about it. It's not bad. I don't see myself using it too much unless, like I said, like someone else does the rollers for me or if I just keep practicing and, you know, do them better so yeah i'm actually excited that now my hair is like all ready and done and i can go out and yeah it looks fine i actually really like how my hair turned out that is it for today's video i feel like this video is super long i hope you guys liked it if you did subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on your post notifications so you can notify every time i upload a video i'm gonna link everything down below if you guys want to check out any of the stuff that i mentioned in this video and i'll see you guys in my next video i love you guys so much Mwah. bye bye <music>